Okay guys, uh, I don't have much time because I need to leave for school soon, but I just wanted to say I've started the fast, uh, 7 o'clock a.m., uh, February 27th. It's going to go until 1 o'clock, uh, the 28th of Saturday on 28th of Saturday. Saturday's month, guys. I bet you didn't know that. Uh, the 28th of February, which is a Saturday, which is tomorrow for me. Not sure when I'm going to get the video uploaded, but I will get it uploaded. Hopefully. Um, I got a lot of views on my vlog. Which I'm assuming is because it's 30 hour famine related and I had a tag in there about the 30 hour famine. But all I wanted to say real quick is that I was storming the, st 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 starting the famine and uh, the past. And that it's doesn't seem much diff very different yet because it's only 7-Eleven right now. So it doesn't seem too bad yet that that's the key word there yet it will be but not now that's it okay guys i just got back from school and uh i have transition glasses so that's why they're all oh that looks weird i can see you okay i'm done now uh <laughs> so i i just got back from school and i'm just now starting to feel effects uh the effects of not eating uh, I can feel, I feel like I'm hungry, but I'm not super hungry, so I'm, I can feel my stomach, like, it's telling me, like, dude, you need to eat some food, man, you, 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 you need to eat some food, but it's not dire yet, a dire situation, so, um, yeah, it's not too bad yet, also, I was, uh, I was at the, uh, at school, and that's <laughs> a dress picture, of the one is like, is it blue or gold, or is it that? That's hilarious. That's hilarious. It, I don't even, I don't even try. I mean, it's like that picture. The guy who made that is just like a jerk. He knew, or she he knew that it would mess with people. I don't know. Maybe it has something to do with the light. I don't know, but. Oh, that's so... Uh, every time, I, I'm sitting here and it's like, Oh, I'm hungry. Let's go eat some food. No, you can't do that. Because it's a 30-hour famine. Also, my head feels a little light occasionally. I'm lightheaded. Pa no, I have a brain. Don't be a jerk, okay? Don't be a jerk. But yeah, so far, nothing too bad yet. You can't really see my eyes, so you don't really know what I'm doing, but... Uh, so, I think I'm gonna head out, go, uh, goes. Yep, goes, that's what I meant to say. I'm probably going to stop the video very soon here, because I'm gonna get some recording in. And, yeah. I will be back in a second, probably, with another update on... I keep looking at the camera, you can't really tell... Yeah, you can, just a little bit. But uh, I'll give you an update on how I feel, and maybe, if I'm lucky, I can get uh, an interview with some of the other people at my uh, church to see how they feel about this. But uh, that's going to be it for now. Uh, see you in a moment. Okay, guys. So my last video was at 3.45, uh, I believe. And now it is the same day. But 10.49 p.m. And uh, basically what we did, we went to the church. Uh, we started, at, as I said before, 7 o'clock in the morning. And uh, haven't eaten anything since. <coughs> and we, we went there and we did some games that related to what it would be like to be an Ethiopian child that wouldn't get many meals. So we did like... Um, one with water, where we had to go get water quickly, back and forth. It was like a relay with water, but it was dirty water to signify, you know. We, they didn't have clean water. There was one, like, uh, saving crops. And there were a few other. There were six, uh, one, um, uh, yeah, this is what happens. I'm tired now. There were six uh, games that we did. And... Uh, so what happened is uh, you got a certain amount of points for how well you did and then at the end you would total up that score and whoever had the highest 
uh, would be the best survivor. I mean, not saying you didn't survive if you didn't uh, get get uh, the this, this same amount of points, but you just didn't do as well. Uh, so that's what we did there. Sorry, I'm saying oh, a lot. I know that because I'm just tired. But after I left, uh, I got in the car. I said oh again. I got in the car. And we started driving. I got really tired all of a sudden. I've got a constant feeling of hunger. You know that feeling where you can feel something on your stomach. Basically, I, I got really tired. And I can feel like a weight on my mind. Like, you need to go to sleep, man. That's what my brain tried to tell me. Uh, so I said, uh, again. But tomorrow, um, uh, I said, I'm again. <laughs> what we're doing is, we're going 8 a.m., I'm waking up, and going around, we're going back to the youth group building, and then we start walking around the neighborhood doing a service project. And then we get back to the building at 1, break the fast, and then we kind of hang out around until 2. So that's, uh, what the rest of is gonna happen tomorrow, but... I'm going to go to bed because I'm really tired because I don't have any energy. So I will see you guys in a moment again. Okay, guys, I'm leaving uh, soon again, but I wanted to say I woke up 7. It's 8 now, and I'm leaving at, uh, to get to the building before 8.30. Or at 8.30. Um, so I'm still hungry, and I'm still tired. And I want to sleep, but I can't get any because yeah ain't no time to do that uh, I do really want food now at this point and food would be a welcome uh, thing to eat but I can't because yeah it's part of the fast so at one o'clock I will finish the fast and I will tell you how it felt then because I won't be able to because I'm leaving at 830 and I go to a one o'clock with the church and then I go uh, back home at 2. So I won't be able to tell you what everything is like until I get back. So I will probably see you then. But for now, I need food. Okay, guys. It's finally over. Um, right now it is 6.57. And the fast ended around 1 o'clock-ish. So I just real quick want to explain uh, what happened. So I got there. Uh, I think I did a video on this earlier in the morning, I hope. But I got to the building, and there weren't many people there, and gradually more people came. Uh, we did a little devotional thing uh, where we were kind of talking about... the. There were uh, a couple chapters talking about fasts and how you were supposed to do them, and the point of doing them and then uh, after we did that we we just kind of talked about what we were going to do when we got out so the plan was we were gonna go door to door and ask for clothing to donate to Jubilee you know that store the Jubilee it's kinda of like a never mind it's like a clothes store that's uh, got cheaper clothes but not saying they're bad they're not bad at all the clothes, there's, there's probably a lot of good clothing there, it's just, you need to find it. I have never been there, so I can't really speak out of experience, but... Uh, so you, you do, uh, we went around door to door asking her donations for that. And we did that for about three hours. We started at... Like, nine, maybe? We started at around nine, and ended around 11.15. And the competition was, we split into two teams, one team of eight and one team of seven. And I was in the team of seven, and we went around one side of the neighborhood, and the other team went around another side of the neighborhood, and whoever got the most donated uh, items and dollars for the Three Art of Famine would get um, a dessert of their choice. Now... Um, the other team ended up winning with a total of 380-something articles of clothing. We had 140-something articles of clothing. But in the end, we had some people come over, uh, parents came over and dropped off some clothes. And we ended up with over 700 articles, articles of clothing to donate, which was amazing. So, uh, 
very uh, happy we did it, and it was fun. It really was just, you know, walking around and talking to people, and then you go open the doors, and then you, you say, hey, would you uh, like to donate? And it was just a fun experience. Uh, so after we did that, we went back to the building, and, uh, we you know, we counted everything and figured out what everything was. We took a picture next to the huge pile of clothes, and then we got uh, prepared. We created a little square out of the tables and got ready for the food. Now, when they came back, they had, um, before we, were, we ate, we did a communion, I think it's called, with the bread and then the grape juice or what it would be. It would be wine, but, you know, you can't do that in a church because some people can't drink wine. But it would have been, but it wasn't. Uh, we And then after we did that, we had, what was it, like, plump nut? I don't remember what it was called. But it was like peanut butter and some sort of nut. And this is what they would serve uh, as a meal to malnourished kids in Ethiopia or wherever World Vision decides to help at a specific time. And it was good. I mean, it was just basically crunchy peanut butter is what it tasted like. Then we had the other thing, which was like a uh, corn, corn meal-ish kind of thing, and it was really, really bland. Like, no flavor. But it did the job, I think. I don't know what kind of nutrition was in it, but I think it does the job, because they wouldn't be doing it otherwise. And after that, then we got the pizza, and we got uh, breadsticks, and all that good, good tasty food. That's definitely not healthy, but we had it. And uh, that kind of concluded uh, the 30-hour famine event, and there will probably be one next year that I will do as well. Uh, and it's not too late to donate. It, you can keep donating, I think. I don't know when this ends. I should probably know that, but I don't. If you'd like to donate, then you can go ahead and click on my last video, which has a link in the description, which you can copy and paste, since I don't know how to make a clickable one. If any of you know how to make a clickable link, let me know, because that's something I really need to know, I think. It, maybe not, but... Um, so yeah, I had it was a fun experience and a little bit of annoying it and then it, it, it was a little bit of an annoying experience as well. I need to English here Just because you know you were hungry and speaking of that When I got to the building I was hungry and still very tired even though I, I got some sleep Because well we did get back at like 1030 But I got some sleep, but I still felt tired. I still felt hungry until uh, we actually went door to door because then I kind of forgot about it But it does hit people in very different ways. Some people actually had stomach pains a little bit some people woke up in the middle of the night just because they were hungry, but It all depends I guess But uh, yeah, that kind of concludes the uh, 30 hour famine Which uh, again was a very fun experience just uh, sorry kind of different because I've never done like a door-to-door uh, fundraiser and donation kind of thing but um, that's about it for uh, this so I thank you guys for watching and donating if you did donate I thank you very much for donating donating to a great cause and I guess I, I'll see you guys next time and before I go uh, make sure you leave in the comments if you'd like to see more videos like this because if you if you would I would definitely like to see that you care either either by leaving like 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 likes Wow either by leaving a like or a comment, but uh, yeah, that's gonna be it So I will see you guys in the next episode Have a good day, and now I've got to press the stop recording button there no there